Hello there, Pokemon Mosfet Beta. I'm Four Swords Lord, and I'm here to bring you guys my very first upload on this channel. I mostly do Let's Plays and occasionally Pokemon Battles and whatnot. So I'm running a Sun Team, and my opponent's running a Sand Team. Now, before we start, I want to explain my team a bit. My opponent's running a Sand Team, and I'm running a Sun Team, so we have Weather. Now, everything on my team has a basically specific purpose. Drachi looks weird, but it actually works very well. It, it can check it can check Tyranitar pretty easily and some other Sand Sweepers that don't have Earthquake, and it can also provide Paralysis support for Dragon Knight, so that I can just get one Dragon Dance off instead of multiple to make it for the speed. I also run Stealth Rock on it because nothing else on my team learns it, and Wish helps make it for the Stealth Rock weaknesses if I can't get uh, Rapid Spin with Starmie. Starmie also generally checks rain teams, which is its purpose on it. It's more of a supporting attacker, if anything else, and provides Rapid Spin support. Other than that, it's just the standard set on Smogon. Venusaur is the main sweeper, actually. The team is built around securing that sweep and making Maintaining the sun, which also helps out Dragon Knight by powering up its Fire Punch so that at plus one, I can take out Skarm at worst two hits. Dragon Knight also functions a bit as a secondary sweeper, generally depending on the situation. It mostly sets up on slower defensive teams rather than offensive teams, which Venusaur sets up on. And Venusaur, I just run Giga Drain on it. It's a standard set as well with growth and all. It can sweep very well after I get one growth off, because nothing can really take a hit after that. Terrakion is my choice scarf user where it doesn't really benefit from the weather, but it doesn't really get hindered by weather either, and can take out most sand sweepers as well. If I can switch into a dark type attack, then I'm generally set to do work. Additionally, Terrakion's other purpose is if I can't set up a Venusaur or Dragonite, but the opponent's team is weak enough to the point where a Scarf Coast combat will destroy everything, then I can just go from there. This team is meant to do three things. Deal with opposing weather, possibly taking advantage of opposing weather, and securing a sweep for either Venusaur or Dragonite. With that, let's get into the battle. Now, first turn, I thought he would want to get up a sand off, so I go into Terrakion and start off, but he actually is Landorus, and I can't stay in because I know I cannot take him out in a single hit without prior damage. So I'm going to go into Dragonite, and he goes for the safe Earthquake. I was hoping he was bluffing the Scarf or something, because another person did that, actually, in the tournament. But he goes into Skarm as I go into Terrakion, predicting him to go into Tyranitar, but it doesn't work out. Now I go into Nine Tails to get out my son, and to possibly lure in his Tyranitar and go for the Will Wisp. But he actually goes for the Stealth Rock, which is interesting, because you never see that on, on Skarm. So that means he's running something else in place of it on Tyranitar. I'm not sure what exactly, but I do get up the Will Wisp, and that's really nice, because that's going to really help out taking out that thing. Now, I do not carry hand power fighting. And I instead carry ground, and this is one of the scenarios where fighting would have helped. I never find fighting that helpful, but it really would have helped against ty this Tyranitar. So I switch into Jirachi, thinking he's going to go for Fire Blast, and I can take it, or at least I think I can. But he goes into Jellicent, possibly scouting for fighting, and I can't stand, so I'm going to go into Ninetales, which is a bad play because after Stealth Rock and Scald, I'm at half health, so this really isn't going to help me win the Weather War. So instead, I believe he's going to go for Toxic or something, so I go into Venusaur. I think he's going to go for Taunt, predicting me to go back into Jirachi. But he goes into Tyranitar, and I can't stay in, because Venusaur does have nice special defense, but I don't have any investment, and I know Fire Blast will hurt, and Game Train actually won't do that much. So I go into Jirachi, because I'm a special defensive Jirachi, so I can take a Fire Blast from the standard Tyranitar, right? He's not the standard Tyranitar, he's a modest Tyranitar, maybe? Max special attack and stuff? He's not Specs, because Specs would have done a lot more. It doesn't have leftovers or a Choppleberry. So I have no idea what item he's running. But I do manage to get out my Stealth Rock after forcing him out. And he's gonna switch again for some reason, maybe predicting me to go into Nine Tails. But I get him a Wish, and I Iron Head to get Jirachi back up to full. And that is what happens, because I don't have Protect, so I have to basically improvise a bit and use Iron Head to get off the flinch. Now I'm going to make another bad play and go for the Thunder Wave, which really didn't matter that I went for Thunder Wave, because I don't because I get burned this turn by his Scald, and Jirachi is crippled, really. So, really my plan was to probably get his Star Antar and make him think maybe I won't get the flinch, or something like that. But I can't even flinch him to death, at least effectively with his Tyranitar. 
So now I'm going to go into Starmie, thinking he'll stand and go for a ton of will o -Wisp, and knowing that Starmie doesn't care about the will o -Wisp, but he goes into Landorus, thinking, knowing that I can't do anything with Jirachi against it, and he goes for the U-turn, and I was hoping to God he was not a Scarf Landorus, and I was staying predicting me to overpredict, but no. And Starmie, I go for the Ice Beam, and he goes into Jellicent. So really, that didn't work out. Thankfully, I didn't go for the Hydro Pump. That would've just worked out so badly. And I'm gonna make another bad play, thinking he'll stay in, but he doesn't. Well, actually, he does... No, I'm thinking he would go into Landorus, but he doesn't. So Starmie dies. It does nothing. Yay. Now I'm gonna go into Venusaur to force him out, and knowing he's not gonna stay in, so I go for the Hymn Power Fire, Predicting him to go into either Skarm or Celebi, and knowing it's a save display reel. So I get up a nice amount of damage that tells me he's an offensive set. I'm not sure if he's the actual Tinkerbell set, or if he's... I don't know, but just put that name off to throw people off. So I go into Jirachi, predicting him to go maybe into Tyranitar, but he actually goes into Landers, and that is not good. I cannot stay in. I know he wants this Jirachi out of the way, because he was saying this whole time that he doesn't want to get blinched to death. So I'm going to go into Dragonite, knowing that he's going to go for Earthquake. And Dragonite comes in safely. Now, because he's locked into Earthquake, I'm pretty sure he's going to go into Skarmory. And I'm going to go into Ninetales, predicting this, and to scare him off. It doesn't really work out as well as I would like, because the Rock's damage is really starting to rack up, because I never got off the Rapid Spin, nor have I passed off the Wish to Ninetales at any point. So, he's going to go now into Tyranitar, and I know he is, so I'm going to go into Jirachi to either scare him out, or just to come with the Iron Head. I was pretty sure he was going to switch out, so I'm going to go for Wish this turn. As you can see, Rocks and Burn is really starting to rack up, and the lack of, lef and the lack of leftovers is really helping with that. Now, he's going to go for the Fire Blast though, which sucks, because I lose Jirachi. Because I don't know what kind of Tyranitar that is. Is it Modest? But Berry Berry? Because he doesn't have Choppel Berry, as you'll find out later. Now here, I passed Wish off to Venusaur, because I could have bluffed the HP Fighting to Ninetales, but I didn't want to make that risk, because I still need it. So I go for the Hint by Fire, and that kills off the Celebi, which is really nice. And I believe now he's going to go into Skarm after I get Wish. And that's really nice because Venusaur is in nice standing. It's been doing a pretty good amount of work. Not as much as I would like, but it works out. He thinks I'm going to switch out in Fear of Great Bird, but I just go for the Hidden Power Fire, predicting him to be whirling me out of something. But he goes into Landers, so that works out. And it's getting pretty low on damage. So I know he's going to go for Earthquake once again because he thinks that Hidden Power Ice won't do anything to Ninetales and doesn't want to let me get my son again because this transfer is getting pretty weak. Now here I have a plan. I'm going to get a, a Dragon Dance and then go for the Fire Punch to weaken the Scar because I'm not sure if Hidden Power Fire could kill without the Sun Boost. I not only want to make sure that the Hidden Power Fire will kill Scar without the Sun Boost, but also in case I can get rid of that Jellison that I can sweep with Terrakion and this damage will basically ensure that. And by pure chance, he lures me, he ruins me out into Terrakion. So that's nice. So I'm thinking he's going to stay in the Thotter off his Scarm, because he's thinking I'm Bandit. But he goes into Jellicent. And I close combat for some reason. And that kind of sucks. So I know his Jellicent really can't do much to Venusaur, so I figure he might go for the Recover. But he actually goes for Toxic, which is the next best thing, because I basically get a free switch. Now, I'm pretty sure he does not care about Jellicent, because it's really not going to help him. It's at 2 L health. So I go for Giga Drain, get some health back in, that Jellicent's gone. Now, here is where, here's what's going to save me the match. He's going to go into Landris. Now, he's going to predict me to go into Dragonite, and I know this. So I'm going to go into Ninetales. Now you're thinking, why would you fodder off Ninetales? There's a reason. He does not know Terrakion is Scarfed, and he just lost his only two resist to fighting, and nothing can take a close combat. And Landers is also too weak. So I'm going to go for the Scar close combat, and that's really going to be my game. After he death bars his Tyranitar, 
he knows I'm going to be Scarf because I outspeed his Scarf Landrix. And yeah, that's the game. Now, I don't know if Dimitri has a channel, but I'll find out maybe before this goes up and I don't know, give it to DMAX so we can add in the description. But yeah, that was a really good game. I It really came down to the war. If I still tried to adhere to my plan of getting off a of Venus for Sweep, I would not have won. But at this point, he's realized he's lost, so he's going to go into Skarm, fodder it off, or hope it can live, and also get another defense drop so he can get some damage off the Choice Bandit quick attack from his Terrakion. Now, if anyone has any idea on what that Tyranitar is running, the item, and maybe the spread, please tell me. I would really like to know. I have no idea. I literally don't. But with that, that's a good game. Really was great. It came down to the wire. I thought I was going to lose, but I made it through. And to viewers of Pokemon Street, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time for another upload. I'll, for another video I'm going to upload to this channel.